Good evening. Leading news tonight, 10 Solomon Island students are living in fear after one of their colleagues has been hospitalized for over a week after a cane knife attack. The medical students are seeking answers from authorities. A warning, this story contains graphic images that can be distressing to some of our viewers. I'm scared. These were the two words altered by Chris Butaiga when Fiji One News approached him at his home where he and nine others are renting at Mile Street off Weimanu Road. While Chris has been discharged for the injury on his head, his colleague is still in hospital for the cane knife attack that fractured his left wrist. What the doctor said was that uh, his uh, tendons are broken, they are cut, uh, the nerve is also damaged. Part of the artery is also damaged that causes the bleeding and uh, down to the bone is also fractured. Ramoy, a witness, described the traumatic event. He says they now live in fear. I saw the person came past the window and uh, I recognized that it was not one of the boys. So I came out and I told the boys, oh, there was someone intruder coming to the area. And so they just got off, two boys get off and then they chase him out of the area. Uh, down the road and then uh, uh, that's all the way into the area, the other area with, uh, uh, which was his area. The boys didn't know that he lived there and they chased him in and that's where he got the knife, a cane knife and it was also dark the night. The original students are seeking answers from the authorities. We just want the person to be held accountable for the thing that he did to my friend because the school is starting now. This week is the uh, uh, second part of the semester, so he's going to miss a lot of class as well. And yeah, So we just want the person to be uh, held under the law or something. Right now we're still not free to move around uh, late night or going to the store after when it's dark. So we don't know if the person might be still uh, around there waiting for us with, to do anything again. Or. Away from home, the students live in fear, wondering whether the attacker has been arrested or not. Police spokesperson Anna Neisoro told Fiji One News that the force is looking into their concerns and officers will visit the complainant. Marion Emily, Fiji One News.